Hey everybody, before we get into today's subject matter, I just wanted to show you guys something real quick. Uh, we're getting ready for our virtual baby shower tomorrow. We're actually having two baby showers, but tomorrow we're going to have the virtual baby shower. And I just want to show you guys some of the stuff we have set up for it. Get these cute little, looks like Funko Pop Deco and some baby onesies. These are going to be onesies for our little baby. We still don't know what the sex of the baby is going to be yet, but I guess these are pretty uh, neutral enough, right? And then we got these cute little baby Yodas hanging everywhere. You got these things. Look at that. It's a little baby Yoda butt. That's pretty funny. And then look, old Yoda. More baby Yoda. More baby Yoda. I want to see what the front half. Oh, I guess both sides are the baby Yoda butt. Uh, so that's pretty funny. Uh, but that's not it. Uh, we got this stuff set up here. So we're actually going to have this easel set up for the games where her aunt's actually bringing over a poster that she made to... Actually, do like some scoring or whatever else. I'm not quite sure what they're going to do with the uh, poster board. But yes, more Baby Yoda stuff. Um, cool little cute little deco. And then we got all this little Baby Yoda stuff over here. Uh, so yeah, so I just thought I'd show you guys that real quick before we get in today's, to, into today's subject matter, uh, which is coming up right now. Also, can't forget this little guy. Hey everybody, welcome back. So today we're going to be talking about a little bit more Expanded Universe that we haven't quite addressed yet. And this part of the Expanded Universe was called Shadows of the Empire. Shadows of the Empire was the original storyline, basically bridge gap between episodes uh, 5 and 6. So what, basically what happened with all our characters in between The Empire Strikes Back and Return of the Jedi. So basically it's like Luke and Leia, uh, they're all trying to basically devise a plan to go back and rescue Han Solo from Jabba the Hutt, Boba Fett, and all that. And in the meantime, they have to deal with this guy, Prince Zizor, because he's like a big baddie in the basically uh, the background of what's happening in the Star Wars universe. And he's the leader of what, the Red Sun, or the equivalent of the Red Sun. Uh, it's basically like the biggest crime syndicate in the galaxy. And he's has a weird, he's a part of a species called the Phalene. And he has a weird ability to uh, basically control people with this, using his pheromones. So basically he gives off these pheromones and it kind of influences people to basically kind of go to his whim, you know. So essentially like fall in love with him in a way or, you know, whatever else. And he tries to use that on Princess Leia because he has super infatuation with Princess Leia. Like his main goal is he wants to get with Princess Leia and make her his like basically queen of his empire or whatever else uh, but yeah so they did actually during what so let's see what year this is this is 1996 they made a wave of toys uh for that series and they're all like the power of the force uh, green and orange card ones you saw but they were all done in purple instead and they all said shadows of the empire as you can see there um, but it was a very small run and there was like three vehicles and five or six figures and basically i have uh, the, the figures and two of the vehicles. I don't have one of the vehicles anymore, which is actually a Boba Fett Slave 1 in a purple box, which is pretty cool. I used to have that, but I sold that at one point when I went and sold all my collection. Um, but to start, actually, before we get to the rest of that, there's also another uh, Expand Universe vehicle that I never showed you guys that I've been sitting on for a while. Just kind of sitting in the corner over there. I had it with my uh, other Expand Universe uh, Power of the Force green card figures, you know, where you saw like the uh, Heir to the Empire figures and the Dark Empire figures, you know, it's kind of like the, the Jedi Leia, the Dark Side Luke, and then the Thrawn. Um, but this kind of came out with around that, and it's kind of a cool vehicle because it's something that you didn't see in the movies. It's kind of a crazy kind of look, arrow-looking speeder, starfighter kind of thing. Um, but I think this was maybe uh, what they used for inspiration for those uh, Clone Wars Aether sprites that you saw, like the Episode Two uh, Jedi Starfighters. Um, and then kind of going into the beginning of the Clone Wars, those Starfighters. I think this may have been the influence for that, because this looks pretty similar to uh, those Starfighters there. Uh, but it's kind of cool because uh, I think it had a feature kind of like you push a button and then these kind of wings kind of pop out and kind of comes out with the guns and all that. And I believe, I don't know if this even came with a, uh, a pilot, but I think it maybe just took, yeah, maybe it did come with a pilot, because uh, that pilot doesn't really look familiar. It kind of looks like the helmet of a you know, ATST pilot helmet, but I think it might be a completely unique figure to this. Yeah, I'm not sure. Yeah, I don't know if the figure came with this, but still a pretty cool vehicle. Kind of a cool idea. 
all empires. So you got the empire insignia. <laughs> but moving on. Uh, but also, the Shadows of the Empire introduced us to characters that we hadn't seen before. And, you know, one of those, of course, is Prince Ezor. I've just shown you that. He's part of the Phalene race. They made a couple different uh, funky toys of him. Uh, also, and what I don't have, too, is uh, they uh, made these two packs. I think I used to have them, but they were the first comic book two packs. And they had comic books of the Shadows of the Empire and everything. Uh, but that's what these guys are. See, there was a Prince Ezor with Vader one. Or there was also a Boba Fett with IG-88 um, in that set. But, you know, I don't have those to show you. But, you know, as you can imagine, they're probably pretty cool, for especially uh, back in the 90s. You know, I guess as cool as that stuff kind of got. Um, but, yeah, so one of the other characters that you got to meet uh, was a guy named Dash Rendar. Dash Rendar, he was kind of like a space pirate. He didn't really have, you know, crazy allegiance to the rebels by any means, but the, he definitely helped them at a certain point. Um, but the cool thing uh, with Dash Rendar is... Uh, with the introduction of him into this series, they introduced to us a brand new vehicle, which was uh, Dash Rendar's Outrider, uh, which is this bad boy, or Outrider. So Dash Rendar's Outrider. And this was kind of a cool vehicle. It was kind of a combination of the Millennium Falcon and a B-Wing, whereas it kind of had the Millennium Falcon shape and all that, but it had the feature of the B-Wing where it would kind of like tilt and kind of turn into a big X or you know, just be flat. Like that, and I think that the uh, the cockpit actually rotated with however you had it turned. So if you had it like turned like this, the cockpit would rotate with you, kind of like the old B-wing did. Uh, but yeah, it's a pretty cool vehicle. I've always enjoyed that one. So that was kind of the only reason why I've most of the vehicles for uh, Power of the Force. This is the only one that I have because it was definitely unique to the Expanded Universe. And as I've said before, the Expanded Universe is my favorite part of Star Wars. Um, so yeah, so got that Dash Renders Outrider. Pretty sweet vehicle. And let's move on to what other figures did they put out? Uh, another unique uh, portrayal of a character to this series was how they did Chewbacca. And they made Chewbacca kind of like a space pirate. They gave him kind of a, a flat top hairdo and all that. And I actually used to have one of these that was signed by Peter Mayhew. But at some certain point, you know, probably 10, 15 years ago, I sold it. Uh, probably just made my money back on whatever I paid for the figure and the signature. Uh, but it was a pretty cool take on Chewbacca. They gave him an eye patch. And like I said, the flat top and kind of different gear than you've ever seen them in before. You know, definitely like a bigger chest thing, you know, instead of just the bandolier. And here's the concept for it on the back. Hopefully I can make that a little less foggy. Let's see if I can get that to zoom in. Come on, Chewbacca. That's just going to be foggy on us. Yeah, dang it. Uh, but either way, so it was pretty uh, cool Chewbacca. And then also, they had a different take on a Luke Skywalker. They they put him in this armor that you'd never seen before. It says Imperial Guard Disguise. So this is Imperial Guard Luke Skywalker. And they had different Imperial Guards in the Shadows of the Empire than you're used to seeing. Like, it's not like the Emperor's Royal Guards with the whole red. This is just a regular Imperial Guard. Not the Emperor's, but, you know. And this was Luke. And, of course, you know, in this Power of the Force series, that's when everything was, like, all about muscle. So everybody had to be all looking all muscly. <laughs> There's like the concept for it on the back. So we can get that to focus in a little bit better than what we're trying to do. Come on, Luke. Focus. 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 Oh, of course, it's not going to focus the way I want it to. Um, but yeah, so that's the Luke Skywalker of that set. Pretty cool. I like his helmet because it's kind of reminiscent of something else that you see uh, later on in Star Wars. I kind of forget. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. The guy from uh, Episode 7. That I just showed you guys um, that set. And he was one of the guys on Mos Kanata's planet that Finn's going to take off with. It's kind of what his helmet kind of looked like a little bit, I guess. And then for the rest, last of the regular figures, of course, we saw this carded on the regular Power of the Force series. But this is the Bouchelea. And, of course, uh, during the Shadows of the Empire is when you actually see her um, get the Boosh outfit. And she's actually out in the galaxy, you know, pretending to be Boosh more so than just at Jabba's Palace. Uh, but yes, there's Princess Leia, Shadows of the Empire, Boosh Disguise. And then lastly, but not leastly, um, for what I have for Shadows of the Empire is the... What is it? The, just the swoop. Shadows of the Empire swoop bike with swoop bike pilot. You did, only saw this figure in this package. You could only get it with this speeder bike. Uh, but it was pretty cool, a unique figure. I'm, I forget what part of Shadows of the Empire this guy actually uh, turns up in. Um... But yeah, it's definitely a unique swoop bike and definitely a different figure that you didn't see in any of the other sets. So that was pretty cool to see. Uh, but yeah, make sure if you like my content to like and subscribe and I'll talk to you guys soon.